Hey kids, what's up? It is time for another day for Project 48. And today is, or this week is Halloween week. Today we're doing something a little bit more, um, wear, not wearable, really, because it's Halloween, but, um, a little easier, a little less time consuming. In fact, this takes almost no time whatsoever. I wanted to say hello to some members of my family that I did not know watched my videos. It was a surprise to me this weekend when I went to Arkansas to, um, to do the makeup for my cousin's wedding and I found out that all of them watched my videos. So that was kind of interesting and fun and um, Sneaky Susan found them so, hello to Susan, Rachel, Kristen, Mallory, and a special hello to Ember, and it was so great to see you guys. I love you guys. Rachel, you look beautiful in your wedding, and hopefully she'll let me post pictures of the makeup that um, she let me put on her, that beautiful face, for her special day. So that was a lot of fun to be able to do, and um, made me feel special to be able to be there for her, and hopefully she enjoyed what I did facially. So, yes, this week is stressful, and I have broken out like six different places, so I apologize for that, but it's okay. We're going to move on. So yesterday, or actually the other day, I was watching um, one of my favorite movies. It's called Working Girl, and hopefully you guys have seen that. It's got Melanie Griffith and Harrison Ford, and it's so great. I love that movie. Uh, it's totally a chick flick, but it's a woman power chick flick. Anyway, there's a scene in the movie where um, John Cusack's sister, Joan Cusack, she's in it, and she is playing secretary for Melanie, Griff Melanie Griffith's character, who's actually a secretary, but I won't give too much away because you have to see the movie. But anyway, um, in this particular scene, she is wearing the most god-awful makeup ever. Ever. And I cannot believe that a makeup artist actually put this on her and put her in front of the camera and thought it looked good and thought that people would want to emulate that and I'm sure people did but it was awful so since it, since it's Halloween week I thought we'd do a traditional more traditional 80s inspired by the particular makeup that Joan Cusack wore in Working Girl I know last year that was my Halloween costume was totally awesome 80s but I wore like a bright neon green pretty decent I, you know, it was bright, but this, so help me, this is awful, but it is true to 80s, and I'm going to try to tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit more professional and a little bit more wearable, but just know that um, this is better than the original, so you know that the original is bad, because this is going to be bad, but good for Halloween. All right. And it's super easy and super quick, so if you have, you forget, like, you have nothing to do for Halloween, crimp your hair, put on this makeup, put on a jean jacket and a, you know, a couple of pairs of socks, you're good to go. And I just snapped my hair. Did I say hey to Kristen? I don't know if I did, but it reminds me of you when I think of this orange now, because I know we were playing with makeup, and she was like, you can do whatever you want, just don't use yellow or orange. I was like, dang it, <laughs> I love orange. Okay, so we just take this color, this is how simple it is, you apply it from your inner corner into half of the eye all the way up into the eyebrow. Yes, I said into the eyebrow. That's right. Oh, by the way, my eye is fine. It's been fine for a while. I just really wanted to do the missing eye thing last week, so that's why I kept it on so long. It wasn't like nasty, goopy red or anything, as you could probably see in some of the videos. You could kind of see it peeking out. Um, it just was starting to swell a little bit in the inner corner, and I didn't know if it was going to be a sty, or if it was just like a minor irritation, or if it was like... You know, sometimes my eyelash hairs like to grow inwards like an ingrown hair because they get kind of long sometimes. So I don't know if it was that. But it's fine. It lasted like two days and then, you know, nothing. I just wanted to keep wearing eye patches and people were getting frustrated and I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, now, number 92, the purple from MAC. 
I mean, from Make It Forever, not Mac. Blasphemy. This just goes on the other side. And honestly, this is how it looks in the movie, except she's got orange and teal. I just wanted to use purple instead. So help me God if you wear this out like it's your normal day makeup, I will hunt you down. I will. So we've got those two colors on there. Now we need to, we need to help this because this is bad. So I'm going to take Bewitch from uh, Addiction Envy Cosmetics and I'm going to use that as a mediator between these two colors and I'm going to blend them a little. I mean, there's still, you can't really blend these two together necessarily, but at least this makes me feel a little better. I'm going to take this blue. For mascara, I'm going to use the same Physicians Formula for blue eyes and use the blue mascara. Now eyebrows, of course, they are going to be hot, bushy messes. Overfill. And, yeah. Can't forget the awesome cheeks. Gonna use Ruby Tuesday from Sigma. And then lips. Because they match this so well, I'm going to use 511B, which is this nice bright pink. That is for reals really ugly. Really, really ugly. Um, wow. I don't even want to post this. But it is true to form. And, uh,. Okay, I gotta take this off. Bye, see you tomorrow.